I've got Mr. or Mrs. Ma ah, just attack me! Warning, this video contains graphic images of deadly redback spiders and an amazing large praying mantis that loves to catch spiders. I'm at my afternoon walk. Uh, guess what I just found? <laughs> I'm not paying $60 at a pet shop for one of these. Uh, of all places, I've found exactly what I'm after on the wall of a uh, building that nobody wants in my suburb. Let's take a look. Oh uh, yes, the building which is uh, forever for lease. It's an ugly thing of a building, but there's something beautiful up on the wall here. And we get out nice and close here, nice and gentle as well. Take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen, and it's a monster. It's a beautiful praying mantis. Now, my only problem is how am I going to get this thing home? I'm um, about half an hour's walk away from home. May have to tuck her under my shirt. I hope she doesn't tickle. And I believe if I come in behind her here, I'll be able to pick her up. Uh, pretty sure these are safe to pick up. Mind you, I've never picked up one quite this big and I don't really want it to fly away. She knows I'm here alright. Yeah, isn't she a beauty, eh? I mean, isn't she a complete nut of stunner? Right? Whoa, 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 she's trying to get me off a little... Come on, settle down, lovey. <laughs> Wait till I see what I've got installed for you. It's um, been very difficult uh, finding one of these. Uh, this is a big one. Uh, I have been going to pet shops and they want $60 for a small praying mantis in Sydney, Australia. Uh, crazy, isn't it? Oh, fantastic find. Fantastic find. Um, I would say uh, she or he is going to tidy up the redbacks really, really fast. And I have lots and lots of redbacks in my backyard that I can keep feeding he or she. I can't remember whether the, wing, the winged ones are one sex and a non-winged, or is that the stick insects? I mean, it's all so confusing, and I'm not an entomologist, uh, so please forgive me if I make mistakes. Just on the walk home, hmm, just noticed uh, some very peculiar web under that fence. I can see uh, things hanging and dangling there. I wonder who lives up under that metal. Well, I've got my iPhone uh, down on the bricks here and I'm crawling along and we may see some spiders. I can't actually see the screen. So you have to scream out to me uh, when you see a spider and if you think it's a red back. I'm sure they're under there. Uh, if you see the web, the spiders are never ever that far behind. And now it's raining on me. But don't worry, I'm using an iPhone 7. I think they survive underwater. One thing, uh, the red back infestation at my place has taught me is how to uh, identify these nasty critters uh, rather fast. And it's one of those things, I suppose if I had a really good hard look in my backyard, I could probably turn up uh, quite a number of female red back spiders. I mean, the female ones are the ones which are probably the big troublemakers because, well, they go on to, to generate so many young. Uh, do you talk to the people in my suburb that I know from a walking? And of course, the first question I ask them, I say, hey, uh, how's the redbacks been this summer? And they, most people report back to me, or the people who know their garden, they say they feel like they've seen more. So it sort of goes back to uh, my wife's thoughts of a couple months back, and she saw our redback problem not as being the cats or the lack of lizards or whatever, uh, more for the fact that it's a spider's time, that the spiders have had like a perfect season. Well, if what I'm having is a perfect season, I just hope we don't have another one like that next year. I've got Mr. or Mrs. Ma ah, it's just attacked me! It just attacked me, now I've got to try and capture it again. Now come on, you're not escaping from me. Ah, gotcha. Man, uh, this thing, uh, this thing is crazy. Uh, warning, warning, these things fly really well. I've just gathered some critters here. Okay, I'm gonna quickly get the critters into the tank here. Just noticing how fast the uh, Mrs. Prey Manus can move. Wow, I've got to be really fast here. Watch me fail. Okay, critters are in a hope. Well, nearly all of them in. Oops, a couple of escapes. Oh well, there they go. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. That's given Mrs. Manus a bit of a different thing, although she's still trying to fly out of this. Uh... No, you don't. Man, uh, she is very, very sprightly, I tell you. I want you to have a feed. I don't want you to be jumping out. I mean, isn't she just stunning to look at? That's a big one, I tell you. I've seen, you know, what I call medium-sized ones, but that one's 
I'm classing it as huge and I better get that lid back on. That's funny, she's not taking the bait straight away. They say she's very spooked by me um, carrying her home. But at least I'm starting to realise what I'm up against here in managing this, uh, this very beautiful critter and it's just gone woefully out of focus there, sorry. I wanted to catch a cricket or something. Hmm, maybe she's not playing up the camera until she's paid. Tell you what, where is she? She does this thing where she hides out under the lid. She likes clinging to the lid like that. Hello, you're naughty trying to get out all the time. Why don't you bite a cricket or something, hey? Oh, I'll tell you what, she is actually a very, very beautiful uh, critter indeed, I can tell you. And whoa, look at those wings, just stunning, isn't it? It's the first time I've really had a good look at one of these. Eat the crickets! Come on, they're free! Very, very classy, classy insect. It's actually very intelligent. I've been watching the way it's trying to escape. And uh, it knows its business. Uh, this praying mantis. Very interesting one indeed. Mrs. Mantis is down there, sizing up what's around her. I'm going to uh, put in, this as a temporary thing, something for her to munch on. Maybe she'll like that, maybe she won't. And let's not forget the crickets. They may need some food as well. Mind you, I don't think they'll need it for that long. So the next day, I set my beautiful giant uh, praying mantis versus one female redback spider into a tank, and I just let them battle it out. And in the end, this becomes an extremely complex video. I'm not going to give away uh, some of the complexities that happened, but I've never been so tense in videoing uh, two critters together. It was like having two uh, very prized fighters or two extremely good sports people very evenly matched up against each other. You're looking at two very, very skilled killers. Uh, one mistake uh, by either of these critters will spell the death of them. I'm sure my audience will have something to say and who they think will win uh, between these two. Uh, leave a comment on who do you think is going to win the battle. And it's going to be some time before you see the result of this fight. I'm having some big troubles with the skink versus redback video. I'm having a lot of death threats landing on my channel and sadly I've had to report some people and I'm having to come back and actually fight with some people online uh, and to tell them to tone their language down and you'll see that a lot of people have come in and re-edited their comments after I've straightened them out and said to them, hey, you can't exactly uh, say that to me online. Uh, there is a terms of service in relation to YouTube and at the moment, I'm not in the mood for playing games with people laying death threats against me or my family. I'm sorry to sound so serious here, but if it gets any further out of control, I'm just going to lock off the comments and you can just forget about having a say back when I show the spider videos. I think that'll probably be the thing I have to do. I've also got some footage of a redback spider versus a very large skink as a bit of a reality check to uh, people who think they understand how nature works. But that'll be seen a little bit later on. And because my son's here, what do we say at the end of our videos? Thanks for watching and bye for now. Do you think the praying mantis will clean up the redbacks? Yes! Yeah, so do I.